Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Windsor Brokers uh, Live Daily Market Outlook for Friday, 9th of uh, November 2012. We are at the end of the another week uh, uh, with the markets uh, in a rather quiet mode, uh, mode during the Asian uh, session, but evident uh, pressure on the euro and sterling as well as uh, crude oil uh, uh, sees still. Uh, the downside the vulnerable on the, these uh, instruments as a uh, brief recovery of uh, euro above uh, 12700 still uh, doesn't give any uh, significant uh, result. Uh, basically, the 128 uh, level is still intact as our initial barrier and the more uh, fears uh, among the investors about the current situation in eurozone uh, still keeps overall uh, a negative tone in play. Uh, regarding yesterday's uh, ECB meeting, uh, governing uh, meeting of uh, governing uh, council, and their decision to keep the main interest rates unchanged at a record low at 0 0.25, uh, uh, with the comments from uh, ECB President uh, Mario Draghi on its press conference, uh, uh, saying that uh, there he is uh, considered uh, of. Uh, uh, he is considering underlying uh, the decision. The president uh, suggested that inflation should stay above uh, two percent uh, through the rest of uh, 2012, and uh, fall uh, below two percent uh, in course of, of 2013. Adding that over the policy relevant horizon in the in an environment of modest uh, growth in the euro area and uh, well answered the uh, long term inflation expectations underlying uh, price pressures uh, should uh, remi remain uh, moderate. Uh, Mario Draghi also said that uh, growth momentum in the Eurozone uh, would remain weak in 2013. This was basically uh, one of the highlights of the, his uh, yesterday's uh, uh, comments. Uh, but however, he assured that uh, ECB monetary policy was uh, directed at uh, stimulating growth in the area and uh, that its uh, readiness uh, to activate the OMT program uh, was uh, boosting uh, market market confidence. Uh, Draghi urged the EU governments to continue reduce, reducing fiscal imbalance uh, and applying uh, structural reforms to strengthen uh, growth potential in the area. He also said that uh, positive effects of the fiscal consolidation efforts uh, so far could already be seen at uh, and uh, at that the implementation of uh, the fiscal compact uh, would uh, further uh, reassure uh, the markets uh, uh, from the uh, ECB, pardon, from Bank of England, uh, uh, yesterday's release uh, that uh, keeping the interest rates at uh, low of uh, 0 0.5 percent, uh, uh, bankers of uh, Central Bank of England elected to leave uh, monetary uh, policy alone for the time being. Uh, it's uh, good for sterling is the lack of uh, decisiveness by policymakers. Uh, uh, could uh, lead to more inevitable moves uh, towards uh, year end and the beginning of the next year. Uh, on the surface of uh, yesterday's uh, MPC decision, uh, much recent speculation that uh, policymakers would keep rates and the uh, recently ended asset purchase uh, program steady in the near term. But a more optimistic notion was uh, supported by a surge in the third quarter, quarter gross domestic uh, product figures than the temporarily elevated uh, manufacturing uh, data now with the additional figures showing weakness in uh, Europe's second uh, largest economy. It seems that uh, uh, policy makers are currently in a rather uh, await and uh, see uh, mode. Instead of lowering interest rates or adding uh, to 375 billion pounds in asset, uh, asset purchases, central bankers uh, will likely be shifting focus uh, to easing uh, credit directly or uh, placing emphasis on the uh, three-month-old uh, funding for a lending program in uh, boosting economic uh, growth. The program acts uh, similarly to expansionary uh, monetary policy, ensuring that uh, lending is directed uh, to small uh, businesses and uh, households. But uh, policymakers uh, uh, won't be able to ignore uh, the ling uh, lingering uh, specter of underlying uh, recessionary, recessionary, pardon, the conditions. Uh, Plucking the country for too long, uh, this will likely end up uh, leaving the MPC with uh, no other option than to add uh, to the asset purchase facility by another uh, 25 to 50 billion uh, pounds in the next uh, meeting. This was actually one of the 
I would say rather expectations or rumors on yesterday's uh, comments of analysts that uh, possibility for yesterday's meeting uh, was quite high to add the uh, additional uh, 50 billion unlikely that this uh, didn't happen but uh, most likely according to the current uh, situation uh, uh, the MPC will not have much room uh, to maneuver in the current uh, situation and they would likely uh, be forced uh, to act in their uh, next uh, meeting. As said the markets uh, uh, the markets are uh, were rather quiet during the Asian uh, session but uh, renewed pressure seen at the beginning of European session on the euro and sterling as well as, as, well as uh, dollar yen that uh, lost ground uh, after uh, losing 79 uh, 80.00 and 79.80 supports uh, fully retracing its initial uplink from 79.27 to 80.67 while the dollar Swiss is now again uh, gaining uh, uh, power after uh, finding support uh, above above uh, 94 as our uh, uh, break uh, point uh, with the crude oil being heavily under pressure and again sliding uh, below 85 on a brief recovery uh, following yesterday's uh, fall to a fresh low at 84.05 I do apologize two days ago uh, still uh, more pressure seen towards the downside with the current uh, I would say rather sideways uh, movements between 84 and uh, approximately 85.50 uh, levels uh, more of this of course uh, we will uh, see in our technical part just to mention that uh, gold is uh, well supported uh, for now uh, posted the uh, fresh high at uh, 1730 uh, 1737 90 in the early hours of uh, today's uh, uh, trading uh, clearance of our initial uh, Fibonacci uh, target at 1734 now likely will open way for a, a fresh extension uh, higher from uh, today's events, uh, it's Friday, we uh, don't have a uh, very rich under, but uh, still a lot of uh, uh, things uh, to see. Uh, Chinese data that have been released uh, earlier show that uh, October inflation uh, dropped uh, to 1.7 from 1.9 in September and uh, also the forecast at 1.9, uh, while PPI uh, dropped uh, improved to minus 2.8 compared to minus 3.6 percent of month of September but still above the forecasted 2. minus 2.7 percent. It seems that industrial production in China is picking up. October's release shows 9.6 percent, much better from the September's release of 9.2 and the forecast at 9.5. Similarly with the retail sales that came at 14.5 percent versus 14.2 percent in the month of September and 14.4 percent forecast. Consumer confidence in Japan came along with expectation at 39.7 but showing a decrease from September's release of 40.1. From Eurozone no change in the inflation in Germany that was already released and the French industrial production is showing a uh, quite a big fall as uh, today's release for September shows minus 2.7 percent drop uh, compared to plus 1.5 percent increase in the uh, month of August uh, and of course uh, much uh, worse than expected uh, minus 0.9 uh, percent uh, <clears throat> today's uh, forecast uh, government uh, budget uh, balance in France came at 85 uh, minus 85 billion uh, narrowing up from uh, 97.7 uh, billion of uh, month of August. Uh, still to come industrial production from uh, Italy and more significant uh, data from uh, United Kingdom and the United States. Uh, trade balance uh, from UK due at uh, 9.30 GMT uh, is uh, expected to show the narrowing the uh, gap uh, to 9.1 to 9 billion uh, sterling uh, compared to 9.8 9 billion sterling of uh, uh, gap of uh, month of uh, August. Uh, <clears throat> with the leading index uh, due at the 10 o'clock uh, GMT we have no forecast 0.2% uh, is the uh, release of uh, September uh, from US a uh, few releases uh, in the late afternoon uh, the import prices uh, for October in at 13.30 GMT and uh, no change expected as uh, actually expected to stay at uh, uh, zero compared to 1.1% uh, in uh, September uh, University of Michigan uh, consumer sentiment for November is also is due at uh, 1455 uh, GMT and expected to stay unchanged uh, compared to the October's release at 82 uh, 
uh, 0.6 and the uh, wholesale inventories for September at uh, 1500 uh, GMT will close the uh, day's events uh, with 0.4 percent forecast versus uh, 0.5 percent release of uh, month of August and then now comes the technical uh, part uh, we're going to take a look now at uh, major currencies and commodities uh, Starting with uh, euro against dollar, as always, hourly chart uh, shows that uh, the pair, basically the pair is in, entrenched uh, within uh, levels just above 127, where the temporary support uh, was found, uh, and uh, 128 uh, upside rejection seen at 127.87 uh, as uh, uh, descending at uh, 20 days exponential moving average on four hour chart uh, so far caps the upside initial improvement on the hourly uh, chart uh, as the indicators uh, broke higher is now fading uh, following a reversal down to 127.41 this is the low of uh, beginning of European uh, session uh, with the broader uh, larger picture uh, tone still being in the negative uh, uh, mode as most of the indica indicators are holding below their midlines and they're still uh, uh, pointing lower that keeps basically the downside uh, more vulnerable and sees uh, possible extension lower as a likely scenario uh, as the pair remains in the larger uh, downtrend from the uh, of the latest uh, down leg from 13138 uh, peak of uh, 17th of October 2007 uh, 2012 I do apologize uh, 12716 was the low of uh, yesterday this is equivalent approximately to the channel support and the uh, break below this level is uh, to open the uh, next uh, uh, targets on the downside we have dynamic support at uh, 126.51 which is uh, uh, 90 days uh, moving average and the uh, more significant is the 126.06 uh, 50% uh, retracement of uh, 120.42 to 131.70 rally that uh, these levels will be seen as our initial uh, downside uh, targets any bounce higher requires uh, regain of uh, 128 and uh, 128.20 the first is the previous uh, support and the round figure uh, barrier uh, the second is the 200 days uh, moving average and uh, uh, basically only break above these levels would provide a uh, temporary relief and uh, uh, bring the pair back to the more uh, safe uh, territory preventing uh, a further slide otherwise uh, as said a more uh, likely scenario would be a uh, loss of uh, 127.16 127.00 that will uh, be a trigger for a fresh extension of the larger uh, down move from 131.38 uh, uh, lower top of uh, 17th of October 2012. From a brief look at Ichimoku studies, the uh, daily is uh, still in the uh, descending mode, uh, still in the cloud. Uh, we have uh, just initial uh, uh, bearish signal and uh, no firm uh, uh, confirmation unless we see a break uh, below 126.44 uh, where is the the clouds. Uh, bottom, uh, this is uh, close to also the 90 days uh, moving average uh, so we have uh, quite a good support at uh, 126.50 zone a break of which is to confirm a uh, bearish structure on the daily Ichimoku while uh, four hour Ichimoku studies are uh, firmly bearish uh, holding well below the cloud and the recent break below the Tenkan Sen uh, line is uh, confirming the near term bearish uh, stance. The British Pound uh, is in the hourly structure shows the hourly trading is showing the sideways uh, movements uh, uh, trading being and entrenched between 150 59.28 and on the upside approximately uh, 160 20 40 and uh, no direction uh, seen on the hourly with the neutral uh, studies uh, while the four hour structure is still uh, in the negative uh, uh, maintains a negative tone as uh, the pair uh, failed uh, the recent uh, break above 160 that was seen yesterday failed to sustain gains uh, 160.18 was the highest uh, level seen, uh, seen and then uh, a fresh slide below uh, these levels and below 160 is again uh, uh, seeing a more uh, potential towards the downside however a loss of initial I would say 159.60.70 uh, zone is uh, to open uh, more significant uh, 159.28 and uh, 159.11 this is the 38.2 percent retracement of the larger 152.67 to 163.08 ascent uh, as well as uh, uh, recent uh, range uh, floor uh, range from uh, mid uh, October uh, uh, limited on the downside by 15 159.18 and the one uh, uh, 50, uh, 161.70 zone on the upside. The daily studies are uh, now below their uh, midlines uh, 
and the descending bear trend line of 163.08 still maintains the uh, downtrend and basically break above uh, these levels 160.40. This is the equivalent of the uh, high of uh, two days uh, ago, 7th of uh, October. Uh, will be initial signal of possible uh, stronger uh, recovery. Uh, it's it's uh, interesting also to point that uh, formation of uh, uh, diamond-like uh, pattern on a four-hour chart uh, could be a signal of uh, uh, some uh, corrective, stronger corrective action and possible uh, a reversal, uh, but a uh, set uh, re uh, regain of uh, break above uh, 160.20 and 160.40 is required to confirm a reversal and a signal a trigger basically the stronger corrective action of the latest down leg from 161.74 to 159.28 failure to materialize uh, uh, the signal of this uh, die of the diamond pattern uh, would be again uh, uh, bringing more uh, weakness uh, into the near term tone and uh, probably to uh, refocus uh, 159.28 and 159.11 our near-term uh, downside targets. So basically levels to watch on the upside, uh, 160.20, 160.40 on the downside, 159.28, uh, 159.11. A break of either side uh, would uh, be signal of uh, fresh direction as the pair is still uh, within the range uh, as shown on the daily chart, but uh, near-term uh, studies are uh, I would say more negative at this point and uh, see more focus uh, towards the downside rather than upside. As said, break above uh, 160, 40, 50, I would say uh, to be on the safe side is said uh, to confirm the uh, recovery and open way towards uh, higher levels, uh, 160, 80 and 160, 100, that according to the current uh, situation in the market uh, looks uh, quite unlikely. The dollar yen lost uh, ground after uh, a reversal from 80, 67 peak of uh, uh, 2nd of November 2012, lost initial uh, support at uh, 80.00 and 79.80 and uh, fully retraced uh, the uplink from uh, 79.27, 30th of October peak, dipping down to 79.31. Uh, uh, so far retracing 50% uh, uh, of the larger uh, up move from uh, 77.94 to, to 80.67, uh, keeping now the downside uh, more vulnerable as uh, a weak uh, near-term studies uh, uh, see more potential towards the downside. Brief uh, corrective consolidative action of uh, initial uh, low of uh, last night at 79.31 uh, was uh, capped at 79.60 by descending uh, uh, 20 days exponential moving average and the, the pair uh, quickly returned down to the initial uh, support level. Basically this uh, level is offering uh, quite uh, good support and uh, ability to hold here despite the quite negative tone on the near-term studies uh, would be signaling a, a probably the basing attempt. Uh, however, break above, uh, bounce uh, higher and break above 800 is uh, required to confirm. Otherwise, uh, bearish continuation of uh, uh, reversal from 8067 could be quite likely scenario at, uh, at this point as, as said uh, quite negative tone on the uh, near-term studies uh, with the and daily indicators uh, now losing uh, momentum and uh, starting all to point uh, lower, seeing uh, more risk uh, towards the downside. Uh, on the downside break below 7930 uh, level is set to open 7900 next. Uh, this is around figure support and the uh, 61.8% Fibonacci retracement of uh, 7794 to 8067 ascend and uh, uh, this will uh, mark the temporary top at 8067 and uh, probably look for uh, some uh, uh, stronger corrective action. Uh, basically this is the uh, break point here now if we see the break of uh, uh, this level uh, this level then uh, we might be looking for some uh, a stronger corrective action of uh, the uplink from uh, 70 broader uplink, uplink from 7012 to 80 uh, 67 this is uh, marking approximately 38.2% uh, uh, retracement and then we have the 50% uh, at uh, 78 and 90 along with the uh, basically this is uh, double Fibonacci uh, level uh, on the four hour chart this marks 61.8% uh, and the, on the daily is 50% uh, uh, supportive point at this point is the uh, bullish crossover of uh, 50 over 90 days uh, moving average but uh, set uh, descending uh, indicators on the uh, daily chart and the loss of uh, 
initial uh, bullish momentum could be a, a signal for a, a stronger uh, corrective action of uh, dollar yen. The dollar Swiss uh, remains well supported uh, for now as uh, fresh extension higher uh, posted another marginally higher uh, high at 94 81 uh, versus the previous one at 94 70 with subsequent uh, a rather consolidative action uh, uh, finding support at uh, 94 27 uh, this morning and the now fresh action higher is underway uh, positive uh, overall positive uh, tone is still keeping the upside focus although a bit uh, topish uh, uh, situation uh, on the studies of four hour chart is still uh, uh, seeing risk, uh, slight risk of uh, possible upside rejection uh, as we are targeting a 95.00, 38.2% retracement of uh, 99.70 to 92.13 uh, descent, also round figure resistance, uh, uh, break of which is to confirm the uh, recovery as uh, the pair uh, is, uh, has created the double bottom at 92.37.13 and this is uh, quite uh, uh, bullish uh, formation, uh, show, uh, break above 95 to open uh, in immediate uh, next bar barrier at 95.30, 90 days uh, moving average and then uh, Fibonacci resistance at 95, 91, 50% uh, ahead of uh, uh, higher, lower top at uh, 96, uh, 34. this is the uh, peak of uh, 28th of August uh, 2012. Uh, on the downside, uh, immediate support lies at 94.27 and uh, more significant is uh, 9400 where we also have the round figure support and the 200 days uh, moving average uh, reinforced uh, by uh, 55 days uh, moving average and uh, ascending a uh, 20 days moving average that is uh, close to this area a break below 94 firm break below 94 would be quite uh, uh, risky as uh, this uh, would uh, revi revive uh, bears and basically bring the pair back into the a recent uh, range uh, between 92.13 and uh, 94.30 of course uh, break above 95 to signal uh, bullish continuation and they open at 95 uh, as we said 95.13 95.91 as uh, next uh, upside targets. Uh, the gold uh, remains uh, well supported and basically has benefited from the current uh, situation uh, in the major world economies as investors are uh, again uh, feeling unsafe uh, with the uh, currencies uh, moving into gold and uh, basically this is uh, signaling the uh, major uh, recovery now as uh, the yellow metal finds uh, support at 16.72 on its reversal from daily high from at 17.95 uh, approximately 61.8 percent retracement of uh, 1590 to 17.95 and just above uh, 200 days uh, moving average with the break above uh, important uh, uh, barrier at uh, 1726, 1730 and our initial target at 1734 extending so far to 1737.90 overall positive tone uh, dominates on the lower time frames but uh, overextended conditions, oversold, overbought conditions pardon uh, might suggest uh, uh, corrective action basically there's some uh, reversal is already underway we are down to 1731 uh, so far ideally any any reversal uh, should uh, uh, be uh, supported at, uh, at the levels approximately uh, 1720 where is the 55 uh, days moving average on the hourly chart and 23.6% uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, with another very significant support at uh, 1712 approximately this is the higher low of uh, yesterday and 38.2% retracement of the entire uh, rally from 1672 to uh, 1737. Uh, basically, any reversal uh, these uh, points will keep the uh, will keep the near-term bulls in play for possible further extension higher, and uh, we might be looking for a, a test of the next uh, significant uh, level. It's a lower top of 17th of uh, October at 1753. Uh, the daily studies are pointing higher, still in the negative uh, territory, but pointing higher while. Uh, has set overextended the conditions on the one and four hour chart with the indicator starting to point RSI uh, uh, coming out of the overbought uh, territory currently attempting to cross below the seven days uh, uh, moving average with stochastic uh, uh, turning towards the downside yet uh, no clear signal of reversal with uh, more clear situation on the hourly chart where uh, all indicators are pointing lower signaling some 
uh, corrective action. I would say break below 17.12 would be uh, risky in the near term and might delay the current uh, rally. Of course, uh, loss of uh, 1,700 is uh, required to confirm and uh, uh, revive uh, bears. Otherwise, uh, more uh, uh, focus seen uh, towards the upside levels as a break above the yesterday, uh, yesterday's, pardon, today's uh, high is to open 17.50. Uh, 1753 this is the also previous uh, range floor and the previous strong support now acting as uh, resistance and finally the crude oil that uh, came under pressure again following two days ago sharp uh, fall uh, after upside rejection at uh, 89.19 and the lower top at uh, 88.78 uh, reversal down to the uh, recent low at 84.33 resulted in a, a break and uh, posting a fresh low at 84.05 keeping the downside uh, pressure in play. Brief consolidative action is seen above uh, uh, this low at 84.05 and the yesterday's low at 84.23 but uh, upside so far remains capped by descending 55 days uh, moving average 85.68 and the uh, 85.56 are uh, recent uh, lows with the quite uh, negative tone still seen on the uh, one and four hour uh, charts uh, uh, seeing still uh, I would say more uh, uh, more pressure towards the downside unless uh, we see the break above uh, above 87 I would say 87.70 that was also previous uh, resistance uh, again more risk seen towards the downside as uh, larger uh, picture shows uh, uh, bear down bearish uh, trend of uh, 100.72 uh, mid-September peak uh, still uh, fully in play and looking for a, a break below 84 that will uh, introduce our initial uh, target on the downside at 83.64 low of uh, 10th of uh, July 2012. On the upside of course uh, break above uh, 87.70 initial uh, barrier uh, to provide relief but uh, we need to see the clearance of uh, 89 which is the main bear uh, trend line and the recent uh, peaks at 89 at uh, 20 in order to uh, signal some uh, stronger recovery otherwise uh, the near term pressure will be on the downside as uh, uh, current uh, crisis uh, is again reviving uh, increased fears of investors for a possible lower demand uh, for the energies uh, that was all from my side uh, for today uh, thank you for uh, being with us uh, if you have any questions, sir, please you can submit them now and I'll be uh, glad to answer. Okay, we have a question for uh, Silver. Let's just uh, take a look. Uh, for our chart uh, uh, shows uh, improvement in the uh, situation. The following bounce of uh, 3065, uh, fresh low of uh, 5th of uh, November. As uh, the Silver uh, retraces uh, exactly 38.2% uh, uh, of the larger down move from uh, 35.36 to uh, 3065 the support was uh, found at approximately uh, 60 uh, 61.8 percent retracement of the uplink from uh, 2750 to 35 uh, uh, 36 and uh, approximately there is also the uh, 200 days uh, moving average that uh, contained the uh, recent uh, down uh, down leg and the weakness from 3536 uh, attempting to build the base at uh, 3065 level with the 3265 this is the high of uh, uh, 1st of uh, November uh, the price came close 3248 a break here I would say clear break is said uh, to confirm the uh, base at uh, 30 uh, 3065 we said and open weight towards uh, 33 that is next uh, significant barrier 50% uh, retracement as said overall uh, structure uh, remains uh, quite positive but uh, uh, let me just take a look. Uh, still, uh, 
I would say still negative tone on the daily chart, uh, especially that uh, uh, 55 days uh, moving average at 33.00. This is also Fibonacci resistance uh, stays intact. I would say break above uh, this uh, uh, barrier 33.00 is uh, to confirm that uh, uh, we are in the recovery uh, more than the uh, the base at uh, 3065 would be confirmed. Immediate uh, supports on the downside uh, as the pair is, as the silver is currently testing 3220 uh, dynamic support uh, 20 days uh, moving average. The next one is uh, 3200 round figure and uh, 55 uh, uh, days exponential uh, moving average. These are the dynamic uh, uh, supports. Uh, let's uh, see if we have some uh, uh, good Fibonacci levels uh, at this point. Uh, Approximately 23.6 is reinforced by 55 days uh, exponential uh, moving average and uh, I would say ideally any, any deep lower should uh, find the ground at or, or around uh, this zone in order to keep the immediate uh, bullish structure in play with the break above uh, 32.65 and 33.00 as uh, seen as a good uh, bullish signal for possible uh, stronger recovery. On the downside uh, uh, 3163 low of uh, yesterday uh, is close to 50% uh, retracement uh, uh, break below this level and the uh, 3135-61.8% uh, retracement uh, would be quite uh, risky and uh, uh, would signal a further, a further range uh, movement, let's say further sideways movements above the uh, 3065 low and keep the upside uh, uh, limited uh, for now. Any further question, please? Okay, no. Okay, I would like then to thank you all for uh, attending our uh, sessions. I hope uh, we uh, managed to cover all the uh, important uh, fields and you got uh, all important information for your trading. Uh, wish you a nice uh, Friday and of course very nice and relaxing uh, weekend and uh, I hope to see you again uh, on Monday at our regular time at 8 o'clock uh, GMT. Until then I wish you a nice day and uh, very successful and uh, profitable trading. Good luck.